you again mm -hmm. and me again and welcome back and just following up I had done previously a video talking about IR infrared and ways to avoid it while you still can because the technology is always changing and question came up from a few people about avoiding facial recognition mm -hmm. software and it's been around longer than a lot of people realize and when I had experience with that type of thing originally it was in the early 2000s and they used to call it the golden triangle system I don't know if that terminology is still being used or not but there was a reason for that and because what they did was the software came across the top of your forehead and came down over your eyes to the bridge of your nose not your entire nose but right here right over the bridge and that was the golden triangle and that's really all they needed to identify people most of the time so a lot of people running around with their doctor falsehood uh, face diapers mm -hmm. thinking oh no one can tell who I am mm -hmm. yes they can the software works fine like this without your mouth showing even though a lot of software ties in your lips as well mm -hmm. and there are ways to confound that although you're probably gonna look goofy or conspicuous you yeah might. the way people look nowadays you probably yeah, will fit right in you probably fit right in anyways but you know of course if you have a hat on you know and you keep your hat low and a pair of sunglasses with your face diaper it would make it difficult for the system to pick you up uh, especially if, particularly if they're dark mm -hmm. or at least enough to cover your cheek the uh, edge of your cheekbones uh, around your eye socket because that counts as part of what it picks up on and I know people are going to talk about they have software that uh, can follow your movements they can uh, track your gait mm -hmm. th your gait being of course how you walk mm -hmm. it's not what we're talking about here and a lot of that is speculative because you can say oh I see someone walking away and the computer says that's you because of how you're walking that that that, that can be disproven it's not a hundred percent you can mimic a person's yeah, walk. Yeah, and you can mimic your own walk if you think that that's going on and walk a little differently so that it doesn't, it isn't 100% sure if it's you or not. But anyways, back to the uh, facial recognition. You know, best way, something over your mouth, your eyes, and your hat, which nowadays you can kind of get away with because almost everybody's got a face diaper on anyways because they're all scared not scared of getting sick scared of their government <laughs> different different uh, topic of discussion but I couldn't resist uh, elaborate makeup and hairdos can mess that up um, very elaborate makeup if you remember uh, what was it uh, Pirates of the Caribbean mm -hmm. uh, Jack Sparrow there was one of the scenes he had eyes uh, painted mm -hmm. on his forehead and on his eyelids and on his cheeks it looked like he had a row of eight eyes mm -hmm. you know that would drive uh, facial recognition software nuts oh wow it, 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 especially with the eyes but other types of elaborate makeup you know think like grease paint you know what about those um those eyelashes that come like 10 inches away from your eyelids. I don't think that's going to help you. Oh. I know those <laughs> elephant eyelashes, those camel eyes to go with the camel toes. Is that what you're talking yeah. about? Yeah. But, uh. <laughs> I don't know how those, oh. are. your eyelids got to be super heavy. They got to be super strong. Oh, yeah. To, to bat Muscular up and down. eyelids. <laughs> is that what it is? Back on topic. Yeah. You're talking about facial but you recognition. you think if you were in the military and you ever used a grease paint. Yeah. Yeah. and you get the paint and you paint the lines all across your face that can cause problems with it clothing that has other faces or eyes on it can cause problems because it's gonna track try to track faces mm -hmm. if you ever like had a camera like let's you know you're using your cell phone camera or something like that and there's a photograph in the background that it tries to put little boxes around the other pictures mm -hmm. or things like that you, you can confuse it you can confuse it that way because uh, keep in mind, most of the time, if someone's monitoring this, they can figure it out. Mm -hmm. But most of it's not being monitored. You know, it's a skeleton crew when you're talking about electronic surveillance uh, the majority of the time. There's nobody watching, nobody paying attention, not really. They're just hoping to stumble over something. Uh, LED light can wreak havoc on it. If you had, you ever see the glasses and it's got a little light on it? Mm -hmm. Or... Uh, or a, a headlamp if mm -hmm. it's LED can cause problems with it I know in China 
when they were in uh, Hong Kong when they were having the riots. They're probably still fighting down there. I haven't heard much about it recently, but they would use um, laser pointers. Mm -hmm. They would put laser pointers on a pair of glasses because the, uh, the camera can't focus on it. Things like that that you can do. And of course, you know, guys, if you have this, other suggestions, feel free to post it in the comment section. It could be helpful to somebody. Reflective clothing. You know, remember in the 80s, they had a lot of reflective clothing. Mm -hmm. That was a popular thing, joggers and stuff, especially if it's around your head, a hoodie, a hat, something that's going to cause a reflection can mess with those cameras as well. There's little things that you can do to help to throw it off, at least for the time being, because like I said, the technology is ever changing. Mm -hmm. It's They're improving it all the time to try to control the population really it's a control thing and they'll they'll because to try to track everybody and look at everybody and you even see it like you go to walmart and you see the camera and it shows the monitor for the camera and you can see the little squares popping around up around piece of people's faces mm -hmm. they don't need to do that but they're going to intimidate and persecute a hundred thousand people to make an example out of one yeah and that's how unfortunately legal justice works i know I, a pet peeve of mine the uh the legal justice when justice is served but you know anything else Any other um i had heard at the beginning of the um the the pandemic that <laughs> the face mask was implemented to help, uh, to um, yeah. to help beef up the the facial recognition. A test. I heard that. Yeah, mm -hmm. software, so they can see the holes and how to make it better. Like you said, if a person did have on glasses and, and the, the mask, and the mask, or like where I work, we were wearing the mask and a face shield because mm -hmm. we we worked at um, I work at in the medical field, so we had to wear both. So I was told. You know, it was floating around the internet that um, one of the reasons for the face mask was to um, improve the recognition software. And even if that wasn't a specific reason, mm -hmm. somebody thought of it. Yeah. And it, it, it just, you can just tack it on. Yeah, it's like, hey, why yeah. not? We got them in this mask. Let's go ahead and uh, test See if it this out. Works. Mm -hmm. And a tinted, you know, some people think, oh, a tinted visor. That may not work either. You know, I'll. I'll uh, redirect the conversation to speeding tickets. Mm -hmm. You know, when you drive through in a lot of states, Chicago, for example, um, they they have cameras everywhere. They take pictures of your license plates and they get try to get you for infractions. They mail you a ticket. Mm -hmm. uh, I, you know, no matter what you do, uh, glitter, reflection, um, tinted covers mm -hmm. that you can barely see those uh, numbers through mm -hmm. they always have a damn clear picture of that uh, yeah I no remember I got fast, one of those tickets no matter how fast you're going they got a clear ticket I mean yeah. they got a clear photograph of that license plate I remember I got a ticket and they give you the website link and I was like oh you ain't gonna be able to see that man that picture was so clear it was like 8k I was like, wow. <laughs> so a tinted visor may not work yeah. very well. Let's just keep that in mind. Um, obstructing an eye. You know, if you have one eye obstructed. Mm -hmm. uh, eye like patch. If you had an eye patch, perhaps. Or, you know, you, you tilt your head in the direction of that camera. You screw it up. But just a, just a few tips out there since people had asked about it. And I'm sure there may be a few more. And that's why I invited it. You know, hey, please do. If you know anything else that you could throw your two cents in on that in a constructive way it would be appreciated I'm sure by some of the people that are watching yeah so anything else no just let's go Brandon <laughs> and keep it alive yeah hashtag uh, poopy pants yeah <laughs> that dude is a laughing stock well, to the whole world and that, you know what in that last bit it's probably not even true but everybody wants to believe it because he's so disliked and that's a rumor that started in Italy I mean come on well, like George Costanza says, it's not a lie if you believe it. That's right. <laughs> I mean, I've seen uh, I've seen FJB uh, graffiti on rail cars in uh, Bulgaria. 
Bulgaria all, is nowhere hey, near on. the United Think States. Think about that. <laughs> Don't ask me how I know that. But anyways, <laughs> if you have any other suggestions, feel free to post them in the comment section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if that helped you out at all. Check out the other uh, previous video on infrared scanning. And again, that was just some tips, but it's an ever-changing technology. Keep mm -hmm. that in mind. Um, if you wanted to help the channel out, there are links for that down below. Every little bit helps, and I sure do appreciate it. Please do uh, check out some of the other videos and share. Probably the only way it'll get seen. ScrewTube does not like this channel. And what more can I say but stay frosty, folks. And thanks for watching.